Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Monday, November the 9th, 2020. And you guys, please keep in mind that this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and it is an intuitive reading. Remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind, alright? Now I'm using a new oracle deck that I, that I got, and it's called The Wild Unknown Animal Spirit. It's by Kim Kranz. So I'm going to be pulling two of these energies, okay? And I will be going over these at the end of your tarot reading, all right? Now, this is a new deck. These energies, each one of them have a lot of, you know, meaning, okay? It goes deep. So I have the book right here, and we will be going, you know, over what it says, and then we'll let my guides and my... My intuition you know go from there and see what we channel okay all right so let's get started thank you spirit thank you angels thank you guys ascended masters what messages do you have for us for Monday the 9th of November 2020 um, a, a quick announcement you guys I am working on the weeklies and I want to make sure that I upload all of them at one time so I will be doing that tomorrow, okay? They'll be done tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right. What messages do you have for us, Spirit, for Monday? The 9th of November, 2020. All right. What do we need to know? <laughs> All right. My guide says keep it. So we're going to. We have the chariot. We have the Four of Swords. Make sure you guys can see them. Queen of Wands. Prince of Wands. Prince of Pentacles. The Moon. Ace of Wands. And we have judgment. All right. Let's see here. All right, you guys. It looks really, really positive. All right, you've got the chariot, which is the energy of cancer. And then you have the prince of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy you know, uh, clarifying it. The chariot is all about moving forward, okay, you guys? And not only are you moving forward, but you're moving forward successfully. You're moving away from any difficult, challenging situations, okay? This could be many of you moving away from hard times, okay? Setbacks. You know, the chariot represents triumphant, okay? Victorious. This also represents how much inner strength and willpower you have. You know, you can bring opposing energies with your mind together. And that is so powerful. Okay? You know where you're going. You know what you want. You're going after your happiness. Now I'm also getting here. One of you may be buying a car on Monday. Or it could happen anytime that this week. Another thing I'm getting, pay attention to your vehicle. If a light has been coming on, if your tire has been running low, whatever the situation is, and you know that you need to get it looked at, you need to get it looked at, okay? 
Now, Prince of Pentacles. You know, this is the slowest moving Prince Knight there is, okay? But you know what? This is the one that gets everything done and nothing is overlooked and it's done right. This Prince achieves what he sets out to do. It's very realistic. It's grounded. It's down to earth, okay? The goal is within reach, okay? And that's what he's going after. And a lot of times this represents that what comes with, you know, what you're going after is financial flow, okay? And it's not too shabby, you guys. And there's a lot of room for growth and expansion here, okay? Definitely I'm getting financial flow that is going to bring in, you know, stability into your situation, all right? Now you have the Four of Swords with the Moon, the energy of Pisces, okay? Four of Swords is that energy of, you know, going within, meditation, connecting with your higher self, okay? Seeking answers within. It's also time to refill your cup, rejuvenate yourself. I do feel like there's a blessing coming your way. I feel like it's going to be a shock to many of you when it does come, okay? It's one of those energies of a miracle, all right? You don't see it coming. And when it comes, you're just, you know, you're just in shock. And it's definitely a blessing. Now, for a, a few of you, you have been sick, okay? May have even been in the hospital. I'm getting the chest area, okay? May have, uh, may have had to go to the hospital because maybe some blood pressure problems, heart problems, something to do with your chest. And it's going to be very important that you follow the doctor's orders. You will have a fast and speedy recovery, and I know you're worrying about it because you have the moon here. There's a lot of uncertainty, I feel like surrounding whatever this illness is that has to do with your heart chakra area, okay? Now, the moon is that energy of, you know, needing to really pay attention to your dreams, signs, symbolism, and synchronicities because I feel like you're needing answers, you're seeking answers, you're wanting answers in some area. And, you know, your guides are telling you, we've been sending you messages, okay? There's a need here for you to really look around you and pay attention to what is happening and going on in your life, okay? Look at the synchronicities. Look for symbolism. Pay attention to your dreams. You know, there could be a need for you to meditate. Go within, all right? You will find those answers. They will be shown to you, I promise. You know, there's uncertainty. Some of you are definitely starting a new beginning, a fresh start, and it, you don't see the path all the way through, okay? But you just know you are being divinely guided, okay? And you, Spirit's telling me right now, okay? You're going to be cared for today and all your tomorrow. Some of you are transitioning. You're moving. You're transitioning to, into a new career. It's a career change. And everything's going to be fine, okay? Everything is going to be fine. All right, so we have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, whether you're female or male. And then we have the Ace of Wands. I love this. I'm going to read these together. This is so powerful. This is power packed right here. Passion. Okay. The Queen of Wands is that go-getter energy. It's that energy of knowing what you want and, you know, having the self-confidence, the courage, 
to take that leap of faith and go for it. You're not going to allow anything or anyone to distract you from you achieving your goal. You could be, you know, a mentor, a teacher. This is an entrepreneur energy. This is a spiritual teacher energy. I feel like people are attracted, they're drawn to you because of your energy, your frequency. They can feel you. You lift people up. You brighten people's day, okay? That's exactly what you do. Whether you realize it or not, you are a natural born healer, okay? You know, what you're taking action on here is this new beginning, this idea, this vision. And you're going, you're going after it. You're going to take that vision and you're going to bring it out of your, your mind and breathe life into it and birth it into your reality. And with this being an ace, it talks about your creativity, success coming from your creativity, growth and expansion coming from your creativity. This can also be conception, okay? So, you know, those of you that are trying to get pregnant, I feel like Monday the 9th is going to be a very powerful day for you, okay? Now we have... Prince of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and we have Judgment, okay? Prince of Wands, that's that passion, that's taking action, okay? It's going to be important that you don't get so caught up in, with what you're going after that you overlook anything, okay? Especially something little, it could pop up six months to a year from now and be a problem, okay? You're going after your heart's true desire right here. I'm getting a new love. Some of you are going after a new romance, okay? You have, you know, you have your eyes on someone, and I feel like Monday is going to be the day that you let it be known. Now, with judgment here, many of you are, you know, ending a season, a cycle, and it's going to be important to look back and, you know, gain as much knowledge that you can from this past season and cycle from the challenges and obstacles that you've been through. When you take the time out to gain the knowledge from those situations, that's power and that power can never be taken from you, you guys, okay? Now, it's going to be important to leave any energies that are negative, okay, to leave it in the past, because when you walk through this new door and you close that door, you don't want to bring any baggage from your recent cycle. That's coming through loud and clear. Now remember, you have right of passage here. you got second chances. you got a new beginning that is awaiting you, okay, but there's something to be learned from what you've been through in your past. Take the time out to learn it. Because when you do this, you guys, more than likely, you will not repeat any of those cycles, any of those challenges, because you'll see them. You'll, you'll see them. You, you, you intuitively know. It's like a red flag going up. All right, we have the crow. This is air energy. Let's see what the crow says. All right, air. Okay. There it is. All right. Spiritually strong, creative, watchful. The crow has long been a symbol of magic. A crow personality is drawn to the supernatural and has a gift for seeing the unseen. Knowing the unknown, it is said that the crow holds within its mind's eye the three realities past, present, and future. Crow energy is potent and should only be tapped into when the mind is clear. Those with crow tendencies must balance their lives with a healthy diet, joyful friends, and regular self-study. 
When in balance, it represents psychic, strong, and clear. When out of balance, ungrounded, hypersensitive. To bring into balance, daily meditation practice, okay? So, you know, you guys, you're definitely, you know, aware of your gifts. Many of you are psychic. You're very intuitive. Um, I feel like it's strengthening for you. For those of you that feel like this energy is out of balance, you know, like it says, you need to ground yourself, okay? Meditation is going to help with this. Just bringing your mind to a point of still, calmness, not thinking, just releasing and letting go of anything that's racing through your mind, okay, is going to be very important. Clearing out the clutter, all right? Clearing out that cloudy energy. Because I feel like with this coming up here, there's something that is definitely being shown to you guys, all right? And again, with the moon here, I feel like you're not seeing it, but it's right there in front of you, okay? And you need to make sure that, you know, you, your mind isn't all fragmented and, and it's just not, you know, you've got to be able to shut it off, okay? And I know it's hard, but you can do it. If you just practice even just, you know, five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, you get better, okay? There's messages here for you. Your guides, your angels, spirit is sending you messages and it's very important that you are open to seeing them. And it could just be that you're gonna be seeing and hearing these messages and then it's gonna click okay and you're automatically it's like the blinders are removed okay Ooh, now we have the wolf this is earth energy so we have air and earth okay there we go guardian of family and tribe activism ritual the wolf's mission is to upload the well-being and long the longevity of the pack healthy wolf energy expresses itself through active activism mentorship humanitarian efforts or teaching religious or political studies the wolf gets into trouble when it assumes every member of the tribe must follow suit this includes children walking in their parents' footsteps. Although it will surely be uncomfortable at first, practicing tolerance helps balance out agitated wolf energy. Contemplate the following. Embrace all, exclude none. When in balance, it represents being reliable, democratic, and fearless. When out of balance, it represents judgmental and dominating energy. To bring you know, this energy into balance, you guys. Practice letting go. Okay? Practice letting go. Definitely something you need to release and let go of. Okay? If you catch yourself judging others, you, it's going to be important that you remember that we are all here to experience a different life path and journey, okay? And what might be right to you might be wrong to another, okay? And that's important for people to understand, okay? And, you know, I feel like right here some of you are being called to leadership, all right, to step up. Um, just know that you have the strength to do so that you're being called to be a, a spiritual leader people need you you've been through a lot and you have a lot to offer and share Okay, that's going to help others along their path and their journey as well there's only one of you okay that's what makes you unique. That's what makes you special. 
okay? If you've been procrastinating on starting maybe a spiritual business, teaching, getting on YouTube, it's time to act because you're being called and people are looking for you. They just haven't found you yet, okay? All right, you guys, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.